Inside this box is the Idea 10 from Le Idea. It does have a 720p camera. It's got apps for your Android and for your Apple. And uh, yeah, it says ages 14 plus. So MDJ 2K13 probably won't be playing with this one. We got a pretty hefty user manual here. It does have lots of different languages. Um, I will predominantly be using English. Looks like we got a pack here with some extra blades and some little doodads. We got a battery pack. We've got a mount for your phone to put it on this control. We got a control. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Looks like you can hover in those specific directions. We can go up, we can go down, and uh, yeah, you can kind of wiggle these things all around to control your drone. If you're familiar with drones, this is pretty similar to most of their controls. And there is the actual drone. This is a little bit bigger than palm-sized with these stretched out. We have two blades on each one of these. And uh, right here is a battery pack. It does look like there is already one installed. We've got a little antenna here to catch the signal from your phone. And up here in the front is the 720p camera. Looks like we do have two LEDs here as well. Now, because it's been several years since I've messed with any sort of drone whatsoever, I am going to be familiarizing myself with this before I do any shooting of the video of it in action. And uh, yeah, then I'm going to take you guys to the park with me. We're going to see it flying around and test out all of the different features. We're going to check out how well the camera works and what kind of video you can expect to get. And uh, then I will be back with my final thoughts. So let's talk final thoughts here of the Idea 10 Wi-Fi Mini Drone. Um, it's got lots of positives, but there are some negatives. Positives! It does have Wi-Fi, and here's a little antenna dangling down there out of the bottom. It does stay connected fairly well, as long as it's within about 25 feet of you. After that, it loses connection with your phone, but you're still able to control it with the actual control, so I guess that's okay. It's rugged as heck. This thing has taken a beating. I have crashed it into walls, I have crashed it directly into the ground, I have crashed it into cars, and it even took a nice swim in a pond, and it still powers on. That's pretty crazy. The battery seems to last for a really long time. I have kept both of the little batteries that it came with charged up, and each one lasts upwards of 15 to 20 minutes depending on the conditions outside. It has several different speeds. It's got low speed, which does a very good job of keeping it kind of hovering in place. And it's got a high speed setting that makes it kind of just go and uh, it's a little bit harder to control that way. You got the extra little wing tips here that keep it floating in the air just in case you break one off. And that's a nice touch. And honestly, the cameras on here aren't that bad. Um, on the front here, you do have a 720p camera. It can be adjusted up and down depending on where you want to point it. And even down here on the bottom is the secondary camera, and it takes pretty poor quality footage when you don't know what you're doing, but it does get some pretty interesting shots from way up in the air. So that's pretty neat. For farting around the house, this thing is a blast. It can do no wrong in the house. It's very easy to control, it's very responsive, and it kind of just goes where you want it to go. I have had no issues flying this through the house. That's pretty darn cool. Where the problem comes in, though, is if there is any wind. So taking this outside to the park, if you've got wind of more than maybe 10 miles an hour, this thing's going to have a really tough time. It's going to be on the struggle bus, and it's probably going to, uh, you know, kind of go off course and just kind of go and fly backwards away from you. It's very tough to keep track of it when you've got strong winds out. Uh, the last time I took this out, the day that it actually went into the pond, we had taken it out. It was fairly calm at first, and then a storm like blew in without really any warning. And uh, winds got up to about 20 miles an hour, and this thing literally just kind of flipped over and went straight into the pond. 
So strong winds, not going to be the best friend of this. So overall, I've had a really good time playing with this drone for the past couple of weeks. It does have some quirks, like not being able to fly very well in heavy winds. But overall, it's been a lot of fun. I have had a blast using it. The controllers are very intuitive. And if you're looking to start off with a drone, the price point here can't be beat. And then you can save up and get something else once you're used to flying one of these. Because the control scheme is going to be extremely similar. And you get pretty proficient at this you're going to be pretty proficient at a larger, more expensive, more feature-heavy drone. So do I recommend the Idea 10 Wi-Fi Edition? Um, yeah, this is an excellent beginner drone. I definitely want to uh, promote this thing. Check it out. I will leave a link down there in the description. It is a lot of fun as long as you know the limitations. Don't take it out in heavy wind.